And now we see uh, three scale-ups, uh, maybe uh, you could uh, send, uh, stand over there, um, that will make a difference in their world. Um, and like I mentioned, you now we get short pitches for, uh, for the three of them, DigiLow, Holocene, and the Climate Choice. And afterwards, but also during the break, during the lunch, you can choose uh, with the, the QR code the, the, the scale-up of your, uh, uh, your, 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 your favorite. So uh, first of all, I would like to say the first one, that's uh, DigiLow. And I would say, yeah, take it away, and uh, good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for having me today. Uh, my name is Nicolas Lassal. I'm the CEO of uh, Digilo. We are a company from Munich in Germany. And um, basically, when we talk about supply chain, uh, you know, you think about resources, you think about trucks, planes, and what we do, actually, we focus on warehouses. Because Everything we saw today, um, so Pepsi um, or Legos that you become, uh, you receive from uh, Amazon or Bolt.com in the Netherlands, uh, all these products that we use and need, they at some point went through a warehouse. And if you look at the trend right now in warehouses, you will see that we see a lot more technology than 20 years ago. So we see robots, we see AMRs, um, which are mobile robots going from A to B. We also see drones sometimes for inventory. But these technologies are only the tip of the iceberg. And if you actually go to a warehouse nowadays, you will still see that at least 90% of the work is done manually, which means that it's done by people. And the problem with people is that basically people are scarce. So it's harder and harder to find resources. If you talk to any warehouse, they will tell you, okay, we really struggle to find people. It's even harder to find good people. And the reason for that is easy. I mean, who wants to work in a warehouse? It's not the sexiest job. So if you can find a better job, you do a better job. This is the topic for me today, is how can we make jobs in the warehouse more interesting and how can we give superpowers to warehouse employees? This is actually what we do at Digilo, uh, not in that way. This is a ChatGPT generated image. It's a bit too much. Uh, what we do is a bit softer. Uh, we actually offer solutions so that warehouse employees can work more ergonomically because it's really important that you feel good at your job while improving the productivity and the quality of manual processes. How do we do this? Well, we have two technologies. Uh, the first one is called the beacons. This is our secret source. Uh, here I have a beacon in my hand. I don't have time, unfortunately, to explain you now in details what a beacon is, but basically it's a small sensor that we use to replace barcodes. Um, and with these sensors, we basically manage to improve processes uh, by a lot. So for instance, we can make people work faster, and we can also make sure that processes are really reliable and error-free, although they are manual. We also use cameras, AI cameras. Uh, notably, we use uh, stereo cameras. They are cameras with two lenses to mimic the human eyes. And with these cameras, basically, we support employees in making the right decisions being it in packing, returns, loading, picking again. So basically, we use AI to inform warehouse employees about what they are doing and ensure they do the right actions. My pitch has to be three minutes today only, so it's very short, so I cannot go into details, but I hope after this short presentation you are a bit more curious. Uh, and if you are, then please feel free to come to see me on our booth. Uh, we are at stand four, and there we can talk about your problems and how we can solve them. And we can also show you some examples of what we do with other companies. And I'm looking forward to talking to you later. Thank you very much. Thank you. So uh, next is uh, the second one is Holocene. Hi, everyone. My name is Romain. I'm one of the two co-founders of Holocene. We are a Berlin-based company. And what we created is machine learning capabilities to learn global supply chain knowledge. We capture it automatically for you, and we leverage it for your colleagues. We get with this idea because, as you know, Martin mentioned them, like the disruptions, putting a lot of challenges on import, export, and after sales coordinators. It's a lot of challenges because they are still working with manual and repetitive tasks. We have a complicated environment with trade and custom policies evolving at a rapid pace, for example. And despite all the data out there, they still lack the transparency. 
This is putting a lot of pressure and stress on your colleagues in import, export, and after sales. And maybe you have some names popping out in your mind that some of them, they got burned out. It's a real challenge in supply chain. So what we created in Olocene is their digital assistant. On the blue corner, we connect with the minimal requirement of your systems to get the internal knowledge of your company. And then we connect with the policies, with forwarders, with port airports. We connect with the external knowledge. We centralize and digitize everything, and Olocene works for you. It works for you for your import operations, where it is acting as a watchdog to secure your up upstream workflow. And it is acting on the export side as a copilot, as a digital assistant, so you can serve faster and better your customers. Last but not least, on the after sales operations, you can create touchless, paperless, and move to a dropshipping strategy. You may recognize some of those logos. We have customers a bit worldwide because they are all internationals and serving customers worldwide. And you may ask, okay, how do we move forward? It's simple. To sum it up, Holocene is a SaaS solution with the DNA of SaaS. We are plug and play with implementation in four weeks. We are user friendly because we designed the solution with coordinators. And we have a limited cash flow impact with our monthly subscription fee. If you want to know more, please connect with us so we can create a combine together. Thank you. So, and uh, last but not least, uh, the climate choice. Hello, my name is Lara. I'm one of the co-founders of The Climate Choice. And my biggest passion is it to make every single buying decision a climate choice. And here is why. The climate transformation is the biggest challenge of the 21st century. And every single company out there has pledged climate targets and wants to massively reduce emissions. But doing so, we all actually face a major challenge and I'm sure you know it as well. So when was the moment you realized that actually your scope three emissions are the biggest ones of your company? That's actually not at all surprising because typically 80% and more of your company's emissions come from the supply chain. And that is exactly because of the same mechanism we know from our private lives, where we are very aware which kind of food we buy, which clothes we wear, or which transportation system we use. But in your company, the impact of every single buying decision is much larger. And therefore, the so-called scope 3 emissions upstream, so in front of your company, are typically 11.4 times bigger than the emissions from your own company. And that is a huge problem, not only because of the global complex scale of supply chains, but because your suppliers are probably not climate ready. They miss the training and the knowledge to manage their climate performance and to let alone report on it. So therefore, just sending out simple Excel files and asking for information like emission data to calculate your scope three, but also their climate targets and more importantly, their reduction efforts, that's super complicated and the Excel files simply do not do the job. So most often you end up being super frustrated on both sides, suppliers and you, <laughs> calculating emissions from those Excel tiles. Uh, and you also haven't done the job really in engaging your suppliers to join you on your decarbonization journey. So this is why at The Climate Choice, we believe in easy, scalable, and meanwhile, high quality solutions. And therefore offer our AI-driven climate intelligence platform to empower supply chain leaders to streamline supplier climate data, but also to engage the suppliers and support them on their individual climate journey. We are super excited to work with some of the largest companies in the world to do exactly that, to bring climate transparency in their supply chains, but also engage their suppliers to reach together scope three net zero targets. We that means our awesome team, and as we heard before, it's super important. We have two-thirds engineers, so a lot of people know what they're doing. But then there are also us three co-founders, and we bring in together unique knowledge from B2B software, digital data products, and climate management. So join us, vote for us, 
if you are ready to accelerate the climate transformation and to actually decarbonize global supply chains. Thank you. So with that, you know, we have uh, three uh, scale-ups and we can choose, let me check. Right. Yeah, so, so there, uh, you, you find uh, the QR code in your booklet, but you find it also here. Okay. So here it is. So so now yeah, you can uh, uh, yeah, scan uh, the QR code and vote. And remember, the scale-up contest is purely a voting by the audience, by you. So you will decide which of the three of them will be the winner of the su European Supply Chain Scale-up Contest. Please vote. Um, but also, you know, um, there's uh, lunch after this. So if you have, uh, you know, if you are hungry and want some some bites, then you can uh, uh, do the scanning afterwards. So thank you for now. Um, do the sc uh, scanning, and um, we have one hour lunch. So um, we are all fine on on the on the, the timeline for now. So make sure at 1:45 we will have the breakout sessions, and the breakout sessions will be two uh, levels up. So first for one hour we go to uh, one level up to the foyer, and then we have a uh, lunch for one hour. Mingle, have a bite, uh, and uh, make sure that you will connect. And uh, then afterwards, then you have to pick your mountain. So you have three tracks. You have on visibility, on planning, and sustainability. And you will find some of them also during the tracks. So make sure which uh, track you want to, 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 uh, to follow. Uh, in between, you can switch. So there are three blocks, uh, and in between, you can switch. So make sure that after one hour lunch, you may pick your, uh, your, your mountain. Uh, one of three mountains, and uh, at 1.45 sharp, we will start the sessions in the two rooms, two levels up, you will sit right there. Have a nice lunch, and be inspired, and maybe remember, connect and create and combine, and do it now. Thanks for now, and see you later. <laughs>